As I was building the world for the stories I'm planning to write, I ran into a roadblock where no matter what I tried, I couldn't seem to progress my world. Things had been changed, just things didn't seem right. The pieces weren't going together. Well, after a while, I realized what it was. It had to do with my magic system for my world. I was trying to make this complex magic system that simultaneously while being impressive, flowed with science. But there's a problem. My magic system was so attached to science that it was no longer a magic system. But I wanted it to still be a magic system. But it was science. And I discovered my world doesn't need a magic system. The people of the world might view some things as magic. But, I don't create stories with magic systems. Ever since growing up, the stories I created in my mind always were very science-based. Even the fantasy stories, very much based in reality. My world's magic system was to be science. I realized that. Once I realized that that is what my story needed, and started building around that, now things are coming together, and I'm close to having enough to start truly writing my novel. And I find that probably many of us run into such things, where we see something awesome in other people's works, and we think that our work needs that. Brandon Sanderson has great magic systems, and other authors have done likewise with their complex magic systems. So, I guess all, everyone's work needs a complex, detailed magic system. But that's not the case. You are not Brandon Sanderson. I am not. None of the rest of us are any of those other authors with this complex magic system. Now, if there is a big thing in your stories, the magic systems and the interesting ways of how you've built them, then go ahead and do it. But if not, you don't need to have it. Maybe your world science-based. Maybe your world uses a soft magic system. Maybe you don't need that complexity, and your stories don't need that. Build the world you need, not the world that you think other people want. Yes, there is something to be said about writing for the audience. But also, you want to tell the tales you want to tell. So tell those tales and build your world for them. Don't just build the world you think other people want. Build the world you want. And then you'll be able to tell the tales you want to tell. Like and subscribe.